welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my current favorites. Honestly, this is one of my favorite videos to film because I get to share with you all the things I've been loving. Now, of course, I love a lot of things, but these are the things I would say over the past month that I've really been reaching for and that have kind of stood out to me that I really wanted to mention to you guys. So I have to be honest, this is the second time I'm filming this video. I tried to film it yesterday after work, but unfortunately I was having some sort of problem with my mic, so there was static throughout the whole entire video. So I am filming it again for you guys today, but these are really, really good favorites. I can't wait to share them with you. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And if you wanna hear what my current favorites are, then keep watching. Okay, so I have a plethora of items to share. I think I have a foundation. I have a lip gloss. Actually, this lip gloss, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I mentioned it in my stories yesterday that I found a new lip gloss that I am so in love with So I will get to that. I have a pair of jeans some handbags that kind of thing So let's go ahead and get right into it The first item I want to mention is gonna come as no surprise to you guys if you've been watching my channel and I didn't realize I was going to love this item as much as I do, but I've really, really been reaching for it so much. And the bag I want to mention is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack. If you guys haven't checked out my unboxing video, make sure to check that out. And then I also did a dedicated video on this as well. So if you want to know a little more detail about it, check that out as well. But this has just been so functional for me. As you know, I have been working from home, so I've been dressing pretty casual. So this has been a great bag to just grab and go. I love that it has this little top handle and then on the back it has four little hooks but I've been wearing it crossbody. Now if you saw my unboxing you know that I mentioned that this bag never really appealed to me because it was a backpack and I wasn't really a backpack type of gal but I saw this on Maria Vizuet. She's me and me and mine on Instagram. She always looks so stylish and she was wearing this as a crossbody and it just looks so good. So I tried it and I love it. The only downfall for me is this little pocket right here. I've mentioned that I don't really use it because it is a little tough to get into, but some of you reached out and you mentioned that you can get the little change, chains that connect and it helps open it. But this one is the newer version, so it doesn't have the flap. It has a really smooth zipper, so I will put everything in here vertically so when I'm wearing it, it's just really easy to grab everything. Make sure to check out my Instagram. I have done a ton of reels and what's in my bags. I think I also did an IGTV as well, but I love that it has a top handle. It's very fuss-free since it doesn't have any vaquetta on it, so I don't have to worry about getting it dirty or getting any water spots, so I have been loving this. If you guys have been on the fence, I am here to be a bad influence on you. This is such a good bag. It really, really is. So I had to mention it in my favorites. Let's switch gears a little bit. I'm gonna kind of go back and forth, you know, kind of go all over the map when it comes to categories. The next item I want to mention is going to be my lip color. So I haven't really been wearing much lipstick lately because of my mask. If I do, I'll wear lip balms. But you guys, this product that I discovered, it's not a new product by any means, but it's new to me. It is so good. And it is the Chanel La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Gloss. Oh my gosh, I have it today. I'm wearing it in tender beige, but I love it so much that I'm really considering getting it in another color. So one side is a liquid lipstick. So what you'll do is you'll apply that, you'll let it dry, and then the other side is a gloss. It's just like a clear gloss that you put over top of this. But the reason I love this so much is it's transfer proof. So I have it on right now. You can see nothing comes off on my hand. It's very, very lightweight. So you know how sometimes when you wear liquid lipsticks, it can feel heavy. It's not heavy or anything, but I love it. And you guys, I will be honest, in my Instagram stories yesterday, I was wearing this and I had so many of you messaging me saying, what lipstick is that wearing? So that's this right here. Um, I will link this down below. I have it in the shade Tender Beige and it is so good. I really, really love this. So I had to mention it. 
Oh, and another thing too is I've noticed that I will wear my mask and it doesn't get on my mask either. So it still enables me to wear a little bit of lipstick but not have to worry about the mess of getting on your mask. Okay, now I wanna talk about a perfume that I've been loving. So I love perfumes and I've kind of been on a perfume craze lately. I've been buying a bunch, but I happened to be in Sephora a few weeks ago and I asked the lady, I said, okay, I really like fruity, like citrusy scents. Can you recommend anything? She said, wait, have you tried Giorgio Armani My Way? And I said, no. She's like, you've got to smell it. Let me tell you, this smells so good. It is a floral yet sweet floral scent. Um, it's a good scent to wear during the day because it's not overpowering. It's not like really, really potent where if you'd go somewhere and it might make someone sneeze. But I actually had this on I think I mentioned it before I had this on when I went out to dinner with my friend Katie and she said what are you wearing it smells so good and I just absolutely love this and it was Giorgio Armani my way so if you're like me and you like like citrusy scents but kind of like a little bit of floral try this this is floral but it's a sweet floral but it's not overpowering so just give it a go if you go into Sephora or Ulta see if they can give you a little spray and oh, I just love it and the bottle is so beautiful it really really is I loved it so much that I actually bought the sample of it for my purse. All right, my next favorite, believe it or not, is something that I have not worn yet. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Amber, how can it be a favorite if you have never worn it? And I'll tell you why. And once you see it, you will understand. And it is my Chanel. This is my mini rectangular that I picked up in my birthday, in my 40th birthday haul. You guys, this is my dream color. I love Tiffany blue and turquoise and the reason this is a favorite for me is because I have this sitting in my closet kind of like in the middle of my closet so whenever I walk in there to do my makeup or get ready for the day I just see this and it brings a smile to my face and of course material goods are not what matters but if anything can make you happy right now then I say go for it especially with everything going on in the world but I just love this. It is the cutest little bag. I can't wait to wear it in the summer months when I can wear it with a white dress or a white top or really light clothes because you don't have to be careful with colors like this that you don't get color transfer but it's so beautiful silver hardware single flap oh I just absolutely love this bag um, I did do a dedicated video on it to make sure to check it out I kind of show you everything that fits in the bag I show you a lot of different combinations and I will do a proper review once I have had it long enough but oh my gosh you guys it is just so stunning I just love this color I'm just so in love with it so I definitely wanted to mention it in the video and I will put my favorites back there talk about another purse so I've been wearing kind of two purses back in fourth uh, this month. I've been wearing obviously the Palm Springs Mini and then I have another one that I've been wearing. This is a longtime favorite of mine like to the point where you guys still ask me mm, is that still a good bag? Do you love it? And my answer is yes and I'm talking about the Pichette Matisse. This is in the Emprunt leather. I just love this bag. I loved it so much that I bought purchased it in Monogram as well but I tend to gravitate more towards this one because I feel it's a lot more fuss free. The Emprunt leather is is just great it's durable I don't have to worry about like the Vaquetta handle like I do with the other one and getting watermarks on it I love that it has a handle an adjustable strap a back pocket for my phone and it fits so much actually you know what let's do a little favorites within a favorites video so I want to show you what's in my bag and everything I've been carrying because these are my favorites too because I definitely try to like change out my small leather goods and these are the ones that I've been loving so let's gonna let me go ahead and show you really quick what's in here first off see how it has the accordion style there's so much in here so I'll go through this quickly but I have in here my Chanel cosmetic pouch or some people call it the mini O case what I do in here is I usually will keep um, cash or coupons this is great I love 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 this piece and then I have my sample of, not my sample, my travel size of My Way. Love this perfume. It's so good. And then what I've been using, like when I go to the gym, um, I have this. It's my little monogram key pouch. I keep my major credit cards in here. I keep my ID, a little bit of cash. I have my gym membership, my keys, and this is just great. It's great to grab and, grab and go if I don't want to um, take a whole purse with me. 
Then I have my little rounds coin purse. You know how much I love this. I actually do keep change in it, but this is great. I'm so glad I was able to get this piece in my collection. I've been wanting it for so long and I love it. I do still carry change as I mentioned, so that's a good little um, change purse. I have my little AirPods, this little AirPod case. I think I got it for like $5 from Home Goods. All right, what else do we have in here? Oh, I have a little mirror. This is a little Christian Dior mirror. How cute is this? I made a purchase through um, Nordstrom at Nordstrom and they had like a free gift with purchase if you spent like $125. It's a really, really cute Christian Dior mirror. What else? Oh, I have a pen, a Kate Spade pen that my uh, good friend Katie got me for my birthday. It's really sparkly. I love it. I have another perfume. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I've mentioned this before. It's a really clean, fresh scent. And then I have a couple more things to share. I have this. This is from the Kuragami. It's the Escal collection. It comes with three pieces. I use this little piece, and this is what I keep gift cards in. Currently, I have a Victoria's Secret and a Saks Fifth Avenue gift card, so I'm going to have to put those to good use. And this is the perfect little holder for gift cards. And then I have a, oh, this is another thing I purchased. This is the Louis Vuitton gusseted card holder. This is a really neat concept because I keep all my cards in it and I try to keep them in alphabetical order. So if I am at Express, I know that the Express card is going to be right here and it's just easy to pull out and keep things really organized. So I have that. And then the last thing I have in here is some, this is some Christian Dior lip balm, which I've been using because my lips have gotten really chapped lately with the weather. But as you can see, you guys, this bag fits a lot. I have some change at the bottom. I also have a receipt because I went to the post office yesterday and I mailed out the YSL card holder to the lucky winner. Um, Kim won my giveaway, so thank you, Kim, so much for your support. And make sure you guys are subscribed and follow me on Instagram because I definitely love to do a lot of giveaways just kind of as a way to give back to you guys. So anyway, you can see I ha that fits a ton. It really, really does. I love this bag. Um, it's so easy, carefree, fits a lot, has um, an adjustable strap. So many good things about this purse. I can't recommend it enough. Now I want to talk about a pair of shoes that I've been loving. So I did mention to you guys that I've been working from home, so I've been dressing very casual. I usually wear joggers during the week, and on the weekends I might dress up and wear jeans. But I have been on the hunt for a pair of shoes that go with my... Uh, my Palm Springs mini backpack. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll wear my leopard uh, slides because I feel like that kind of goes, but I was on the hunt for a pair of shoes and I was perusing the uh, Nordstrom website and I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, those would be perfect. They are by Steve Madden and my husband first saw them, he was like, oh my gosh, they have like little like studs on them, but you can see they have the leopard print, they have black on the back. So let me show you, I just think that they kind of go really nicely with the monogram canvas from Louis Vuitton. So these were on sale when I got them for like $50 and then they lowered them even more to like 35. So you better believe that I got a price adjustment from Nordstrom. That's the good thing about Nordstrom. You can get a price adjustment within 14 days. And I, I just love these, they're really comfortable. They have a zipper, um, so you can put them on that way so you don't have to untie them every time. But I like them so much that I got them in black too. So these are really cute and comfy and they're a way to kind of dress up a casual outfit. So I really, really have been loving those and they're super, super cute. Okay, I want to talk about another makeup product and then I have two pants to share. I have to tell you, when it comes to finding foundation, it's so hard, you know, because I have really oily skin and I am getting older. I don't want foundation that's going to like set into my lines and there is a foundation. It is a drugstore foundation that honestly, it is one of my favorites between drugstore, luxury. This is one of my favorite foundation, it competes with all the higher end brands and it is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I love this so much that I have it in three different shades, 
420, 425, and 430 for the summer months. It is so good. Again, I have oily skin, but it just gives you a nice flawless finish. It has a pump, so you can see it's kind of messy, but I will apply it to a brush, paint it on my face, and then dab it in with a beauty blender, and it just give you, gives you the nicest, full coverage, flawless finish. Um, it does have sunscreen in it, so it does tend to oxidize just a little bit, so just be mindful of that, but I love this, and it's really affordable. I usually get it from CVS, so I'll have extra bucks or other coupons there so I can save money, so I usually get it for under 10. So if you're looking for a really good full coverage drugstore foundation that's not going to break the bank definitely try this out I don't think you guys will be sorry now again I do have oily skin so keep that in mind I'm not sure how this would apply if you have dry skin but for me it works really great and I love it Okay guys, I have two more items that I want to share. The next item is a pair of jeans. Okay, let's talk about jeans. I hate jeans. I don't mean I hate the way jeans look because I love jeans, but jeans are so uncomfortable. Actually, my friend Becca, um, she always calls them leg prisons, so I always found that really funny, and it's very true. I have such a hard time finding jeans because the way my body type is, I have a little bit of a smaller waist, but I have a big old booty. So because of that, that jeans and me they just don't work so I hope these jeans are still available but I found these jeans in the Nordstrom sale last year they're by frame or they might have been the year before they're by frame and they have um, holes in the knee and then they have kind of like a torn ankle here but they are so stretchy and when you put them on they're so comfortable they just fit your curves they fit your body like I don't feel like at my waist it's like puckering out it just feels really comfortable um, when I have these jeans on I don't really feel like I'm wearing jeans um, I feel like for me I have to have stretch in them so I absolutely love these again they're by frame they're super stretchy but now I want to ask you guys okay in your opinion what are some of the best jeans out there for I don't know if you have a little more of like a curvy figure I happened to go into uh, Ann Taylor loft the other day and I saw they had like curvy jeans I've been wanting to try Abercrombie but if you guys can recommend any in the comment section let me know because I'm always on the hunt for some good jeans because there's gonna come a point in time where I can't wear these anymore but these are so good I hope they're still available I will try to find them and link that them down below but oh my gosh love these okay the final item I want to mention is basically basically part of my permanent uniform right now through this whole quarantine work from home situation you guys they are my Nike joggers I basically live in joggers um, there I just want to be comfortable but yet at the same time I want to be cute so I have these in, a, in black I actually have two pairs of the black ones and usually I will stock up during the Nordstrom sale because I think they're usually $60 but during the Nordstrom sale they go to $45 so I will stock up but I feel like these are cute and comfy but yet they're kind of stylish so I'll wear them with like a sweatshirt um, and I'll wear them with like my Adidas running shoes or you can wear them with your Nike running shoes but I just love these so much I really do and I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of trying to branch out to find some other joggers as well. So if you guys can recommend any good ones too, let me know. I found a couple at Target that were really good as well. But I always tend to go back to these. These are just so comfortable, and the quality of them is really good. Um, I wear, a, I have them in a size medium, and they, they fit me well. Um, so I would say these are pretty much true to size. But I had to mention these because if you're looking for some really good casual athletic joggers, um, definitely consider these. They're so good so I hope you guys enjoyed those are my current favorites like the things I have been loving so much that I just had to mention to you guys I will try to find these items and link them down below but let me know I would love to know is there anything in anything in particular you guys have just been loving lately I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section uh, if you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe but make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys and I will see you in my next video. Wish me the best of luck. Oh.